So it's been a while. Yeah. Uh, things have really gone downhill in my life since we started with these movies. Yeah. Yeah. Um, like, I don't know what it is, but, like, now I just get car sick, so I had to walk here today. And I don't mean, like, car sick, like, I, like I can't get in the car. I mean, I, I can't even look at a car. Um, but then I got fired for violently shaking all of our products and yelling at them and asking if they're in disguise. And, you know, that made things difficult at home. And, you know, Jackie's leaving me because she caught me putting her lingerie on the Roomba. So I've been living with my parents. And I tell you what, it's just really hard to relax in a race car bed. Uh, we're back to this. <laughs> I don't feel safe unless the Paramount stars make funny robot sounds. Ah, <laughs> uh, more revisionist history. This is already starting things off strong. We've watched a lot of Transformers movies at this point. There are a few core tenets. Racism, always alive and well in this yes, world. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, the city of Chicago must be decimated in every film. And thirdly... History is not what you remember. <laughs> when we went to the moon, we found Transformers. When the dinosaurs died, Transformers killed them. And now it appears as though King Arthur may He's be fighting the Vikings during the Dark Ages. And he may be in cahoots with the Transformers. Being attacked by Decepticons. Where in hell is your so-called magician? He will be here, Lancelot. Where is your magician? If there's a wizard in this movie... I'm gonna be so happy because I've always said the Transformers movies would be better with a wizard. <laughs> I, you have, I remember you've gone on record saying this. You know what? None of these people are American. Why should I care? Yeah. Michael Bay. Yeah, wait a minute. Where's the military? Is what? this a wizard? Oh, he's a drunk. We All always. Right. Uh, You're one Michael of the, Bay's show. One of the other tenants of Michael Bay. One of the characters has to be a funny. wise and drunk and funny. A funny and guy. Will fart. Stanley Tucci. Yup, I fucking knew it. But he's already in the movies. I can't believe he came back. <laughs> Honestly. <laughs> Stanley Tucci is the key to all of this. <laughs> and I know that was a joke we made over and over last time, but it is the truth now. I think Stanley Tucci is the most important person in the universe of Transformers. This movie added dragons and wizards. I think it might be the best That's movie. a fucking Hydra. What is... This is the coolest one we've ever seen. <laughs> What the what? fuck? He casted a, a buff on them? They've got, I guess, all spark infused armor that Merlin made them. I don't think they need that. There's a dragon going fucking sicko mode on the <laughs> battlefield. He just <laughs> fell on the, the battlefield. I, I thought think... he was going to come and like just do fire breath. But no, no he, he just tripped. <laughs> and now they're on fire somehow. That one guy. <laughs> How'd he end up in that position? I am on the prime. And I'm coming. And I cannot come to the phone right now. So I want everybody to remember, the last we saw of Optimus, he was flying into the into space like a fucking cool guy. He's like, oh, I'm coming to fuck you up. He um did freeze. <laughs> upon, entering, <laughs> upon entering low orbit, he is frozen and he fucked up once again. Most of the times when we've seen Optimus flying, he has fucked up. Yes. I don't think... I think this is why he was dealt, relegated to car form. Yeah. He's not good at flying. <laughs> Except in Cuba, Castro lets them sun on his beaches. Hola, amigo! Come on! Vamanos! There we go. Yep. Gotta have a little bit of racism. Just a little bit. There he is. Thank God he's back. I was just saying in another video how great of an actor he is. And I'm just glad I get to see him be in these movies over <laughs> and over. <laughs> Is that Buster? <laughs> Tony, yeah. Buster? They always throw these fucking people at us, you know? Yeah. Government doesn't want us to go in here. We don't even need shots of these people talking. It's cra That's a crazy statement. Like, I saw <laughs> the sign. Yeah. <laughs> I don't need him to say the government doesn't want us to go in there. We're not supposed to be here. We're kids, man. We get away with anything. We're kids, man. We can get away with anything. No why was child. It, why is stuff still on fire? <laughs> How soon I, was this? I've always said that this felt like this movies felt like they're written by eight year olds. It has never been more true until now. Whoa. Stay. Was that already in widescreen? No. No, it keeps going in and out of IMAX mode. Turtle bot. <laughs> That's rock slide. 
It's Canopy. Canopy. <laughs> Could have been anything, you know? He's like an Elden Ring Transformer. Yeah, he's got a The grafted one. <laughs> yeah, he... <laughs> <laughs> look at him. He doesn't need to look like that. No. That's not part of his body. It's like some sort of weird ghillie suit of rubble. Why is he shot in IMAX? It keeps, like, flopping back and forth. I don't know if it's going to come through on for you guys, but it looks bad. Oh, shit. It's Cade Yeager. And he's throwing a grenade. You know what's crazy? <laughs> what is that hell we is that? have no context for anything that's happening. There he is, Bumblebee. He's very clean. He's been in every movie. Why is this in IMAX? I don't know. Just, just Wait, this one isn't. This one's normal. Okay. But that last shot was. When no, this this one, one is IMAX. This because of the fence. We yep. had to, it had to feel like the fence was coming right at us. Mm -hmm. It is so distracting. Why is every other shot <laughs> widescreen? <All right. laughs> what the hell? I had to put pressure on the wound. <laughs> How long has he been here? I'm, I'm really I confused. I don't know. I really don't know. We have so little context for what's happening. I cannot express enough that we shit's just happening. We just have to accept it. I'm like praying for the movie to tell me what's going on at some point. I'm just praying for there to be a lightning strike right on your house. I love the new approach that these last few movies have taken, which is start with showing us something absolutely insane. Do not elaborate for about one to two hours. <laughs> Bumblebee, you fucking suck. Wait, this is on purpose. It's crazy how he never does this before or since, like, after this point. Where in the Transformers Bible is it like, oh, yes, they have, like, complete control I, over all the limbs. Like, we have been shown that when they lose their <laughs> limbs, they are dead. Yeah. When their head comes off, they are dead. <gasps> it's him. Who? White guy. <laughs> He's been in the other movies. We haven't seen him in a few. Oh, oh, it's the dwarf! The dwarf. The dwarf is still alive. I'm so shocked. Usually we do not see the side character Transformers ever again. They usually just die. They either die off screen or we just do not see them. I've never seen one like it, General. Hey, this guy. Hey, he's here too. Yeah, this is bringing back all of our favorite characters. Lord face. Megatron. Oh yeah, he got soul. resurrected. We must have it. What are you doing? Are you the one who's been setting these fires? <laughs> There he uh, goes! Optimus fucking sucks. <laughs> what has happened to my world? What, do you think it was in good shape? Yeah. You, I thought we've established. You know what happened to Cybertron. <laughs> you left for a reason. And now Cortana's here. Okay. Okay. All right. Diablo. So, I was going to say, like, <laughs> we, we had our Stranger Things. <laughs> Now, it's we're enjoying some good old Doom. World of Warcraft Doom <laughs> Diablo? You're going to fix it, or the race of Transformers dies forever. I love that they are canonically called Transformers. Yes. They're not called, like, the Chutari or anything. No, they are just called the Transformers. Vroom Vroomites. Yeah, like, go do <laughs> something else, you know? Yeah. There he is! I'm here. I'm the narrator. <laughs> <laughs> I, they paid me so much fucking money. <laughs> I wonder if we're gonna have a woman to objectify in this movie. She's not a good driver. I'm sure that'll play in later. Well, I just, I just told you. We gotta have a woman who's bad at stuff and, and foolish. Our dragon. Just a medieval catapult. <clears throat> this is a crazy historical painting, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> it looks like pretty Lord sure. Of, it looks like Lord of the Rings concept art. <laughs> yeah, pretty sure it's not real. You know what to do, don't you? We Man, how much of his career is just talking to nothing? <laughs> oh, it's a good, it's an easy life. It's an easy life. I mean, since the beginning, you know, they put him in a fucking glass box and in Sons of the Lambs, and they just haven't talked to one person. <laughs> Probably the, the, the one <laughs> actor in the world who just gets to do the least amount of work. He, He's a one-man army. At most is talking to one person. <laughs> I think we've cracked the code on him. The racist samurai is still here. Is he still yellow? He's still yellow. It's the pirate. So 
I'm glad we still have our funny He characters. is a flying machine? That's the least surprising Why would a transformer need a vehicle? <laughs> 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 this is so stupid. <laughs> I love the fucking transformer's robe. The coat. <laughs> the long coat. It's so cool. If I was a transformer, Le I'd want to. I'd want a fucking cloak. It is fucking cool. Grimlock is still here? I'm so used to them getting rid of everything that they used in the last movie. Who is that? Yeah, wait, who is this? That's the dwarf. No, he's a gnome. What I found in Buffalo. Starscream's head, ladies and gentlemen. What I got. What's that voice actor? It's a very familiar voice. That's Steve Buscemi. It is. <laughs> it, like, it just like <laughs> activated my brain. I'm like, I know who this is. What car brand is Japanese guy? He's a Mercedes. Okay. Famously Japanese car brand. I was going to say, <laughs> it's either really racist or not, and I don't know which one would be <laughs> more racist. Oh, Lock? thank God. Ah, uh, thank you, Lockheed. Put that in <laughs> GIF format for me, please. Yeah, just uh, get that right in the middle of the shot. Beer me, little dinosaur. <laughs> My favorite thing about these movies, about these Michael Bay movies, is every movie puts him on an arc where he ends up in a better place by the end of the movie, but... The beginning of every movie has He's to have worse. him in the worst possible yes. low. It happened with Sam Witwicky. Yeah. He would always end the movie in a high place. Emotionally at a high place. Yeah. And then the next movie would establish, no, his life is still it sucks. It got worse. The thing is, I think it's just that whoever writes these movies is incapable of not writing a loser. Our main character is always... A fucking loser. I cauterized the artery and rechanneled the central flow into the, the, the whatchamacallit, the, the tube with the, the doohickey thing. Yeah. Not bad. She's techno savvy, just yeah. like him. He's ev She's everything he wanted his daughter to be, you see? That's why his daughter's not in the movie. A lot of this movie's not taking place in good old America, yeah. I just gotta say. Yeah, what is all this stuff? I wanna see the military! Oh my god. <laughs> he is not oh, there. He is so not, far is, away from there. He, is, he might as well be in a real desert. Oh my god. <laughs> That's how far from well, the studio that was he is. the most obvious <laughs> green screen I've ever seen. Like this right here, Michael Bay ass shot. Yeah. That, that's a desktop right wallpaper. There, right there. Fucking oh, sun in the background. Uh, ah, look at this Michael Bay ass shot. <laughs> <laughs> Let's know. get more characters, please. Another, yeah, well, we need more characters. Yeah. It, it, it's weird that. We're, we have a blend of reoccurring characters that I never expected to see again. Like, th this is the fucking guy that said, surrender or you will be killed. That's the oldest joke we've had in this series. Yeah. And he's back. But also, we need more humans somehow. Because everybody's only agreed to be in this movie for a total of 15 minutes. Yep. Kill you right now. Oh, no. What? All right. So, we have moved up from Doom and Destiny, and now we are... Border in Quentin lands. Tarantino slash Borderlands. Yeah. Dreadbot. Dreadbot. These are getting dumber by the second. What is this, some kind of suicide squad? Nitro Zeus. Nitro that is not, Zeus. That is not his name. You got John DiMaggio for two different characters? Can't be, can't be, it can't be, it can't be. I'm checking, but it can't be. What do you really want, Megatron? What anyone wants, human, to go home. Yeah. Do we trust Megatron? No. Like, if he actually wants to go home, very different. Do we trust Megatron? <laughs> <laughs> it's, Venom from, it's Venom from G.I. Joe. We didn't have that much military propaganda in the last one. These shots right here, this is core Transformers for me. Just dusty fucking me. Dragon Ball yes. Wasteland, but with cars. <laughs> It's crazy to me that it might be the case that Bumblebee can speak. He simply chooses not to. Because I know in Bumblebee they establish why he's like that. But across these movies, sometimes he just talks. Like, no, no like, radio or movies. Yeah, or was it the last one where he just, like, straight up talked? it was the first talk? one. The world has gotten really shitty. Like, yeah. They need to play are, that up. We are entering, well, I mean, they kind of are trying to at this one. They are saying, like, oh, you know, my town is decimated my family's dead. Yet I still love those Transformers. <laughs> I feel like that character should really hate Transformers. I shouldn't feel like the time that's passed between every movie is like a decade. 
I think the Transformers <laughs> have overall given our world a net negative <laughs> in impact. It's, Let's it's bar it off. Of, it's at the point now where I don't think the military is wrong <laughs> for banning robots from the world. Every movie, they destroy countless Whoa, cities. They kill yeah. thousands of people. I think I'm anti-Transformer. That's transphobic. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> you're absolutely right. I'm screaming at the gun. Get those vile beings! I'm on him! Get those villains. <laughs> <laughs> they want to stop us from going home. <laughs> Optimus can just straight up fly home. Yeah, where is Optimus fucking He prime? flew home. Why don't they just do that? Oh. Why the green blood? Damn. I don't know which one that was, but... He's dead. Just dropped his gun? I mean, what's your gun gonna do? If giant robots. What's yeah, that? but why do you drop it in the middle of the road? What's an M4 gonna do other than Give it weigh to you down? Mark Wahlberg. I think that the M4 could definitely take this thing out. Never mind, he's dead. <laughs> Hope you didn't get too attached to that I was to about to guy. say, get him out of the movie. I really wish I had said it. My lord. <laughs> why does that it, did not look good. Why does it look so bad sometimes? You have a fly Cuba airplanes are from the 1940s. So it look up at the script again. I found it. Yep. Yeah, look up the, again. He's reading the script. <laughs> he's reading the script. <laughs> <laughs> Zoom in further. Uh, what my, is that? <laughs> who's editing this shit? <laughs> Shot on iPhone? Why is it widescreen <laughs> some shots and not widescreen the other shots? Make it make fucking sense. <laughs> what is happening? This isn't even funny for you guys. Yeah, like, if, if I... If, if I'm my, making fun of the actual filmmaking, it's not funny. If my copy <laughs> of the fucking movie that I'm going to edit this on doesn't have these... Like weird changes in uh, in aspect ratio. We're gonna have to reshoot the whole thing. Yeah, it's it's not gonna come through. <laughs> so just know that every other shot changes the aspect ratio for some reason. <gasps> Hogwarts joke come in now. This is the most British. Like this is yeah, Michael this Bay. Is weird British whimsy. <laughs> is like I think I know everything that I need to know about the UK. Yeah. She's going to be whisked away to a magical land. <laughs> First, she receives a letter saying, you've been invited. And her life was changed forever. Oh, beautiful. I'm really curious. Serene. I'm really curious to see if he's on set with these people. I really need to know. I'm so fascinated by this. Like, I really... <laughs> I am so fixated on analyzing if he's in this movie or not. <laughs> And why is the aspect ratio changing between shots? I'm going to rip my own head off. It's driving me crazy. It's making me remember I'm watching a movie. I'm not immersed at all. Did they only have two cameras? <laughs> Did they only have two cameras and they didn't change, like, the, the settings on any of them? What's happening? I don't know. I don't know. It's driving me fucking crazy. I am going to lose my fucking mind. Shall I take his head off, madam? Tempting, but, um... Was he? Did he say something uncouth to her? I mean, I have to imagine. He probably got the time for tea wrong. Oh, yeah, yeah. He probably called them cookies instead of biscuits. <laughs> <laughs> he probably said French fries. That's the watch that killed Hitler. Don't screw with it. That's the watch that killed Hitler. Oh, what my the God. Fuck? How long has the fuck have the Transformers been? What the fuck? <laughs> Hold on. You're going too fast through these when earlier. I need to we... look at these. I need to know. Harriet Tubman, did the Transformers... Build the underground fucking railroad? Like, is I need to know what's going much? on right now. What is happening? This is too much. It's slow down. <laughs> Sam and Wicked! Your father was a member. Your father was a member of the Wit Wiccans. Was Sam Witwicky re related to Merlin? Making... He's related to this lady. If Merlin is the ancestor of the other Stanley Tucci character, that means he's also related to Sam. Hold on. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. What's happening hold here? On. Why can't hold on. hold on? Hold on. Why? What is going on now? <laughs> Are we in World War II? They just said that Bumblebee helped take out Hitler. I what feel is like, happening? I feel like this would have come up a lot sooner. <laughs> B. Yeah. He's so nice. Behind the lines during the war, they called him many things. Nice was never one of them. No, 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 no. Because I've seen Bumblebee. I've seen the movie. And this is not canon. 
when this movie ends in complete destruction of the known universe, then you'll understand. Is that Bumblebee like is a, a fucking reset. JoJo's Bizarre Adventure reset? Because <laughs> that's what's going to have to happen right now. It cannot be canon that this happened. End of Bay Evangelion. <laughs> I just, this really makes anthropologists and historians look like fucking idiots that they never figured this shit out. Yeah. You know? Yeah. Uh, no, what what I'm getting from all this is that humans were never really in control of anything. Humans were never paying attention. And humans never even got anything right. Now, legend held that one last night would someday be chosen in the struggle. He is the last night. I thought the last night would be Optimus Prime, but no, it is Cade, the legend, last night Jaeger. It's like Star Wars. The, the title's meant to throw you off. Why is he the chosen one? Qualities of a knight, purity of heart, valor, honor, virtue, integrity. I have those. He I'm have, American. He, he I got have, those. We, we have met, we've known this man. He has none of these qualities. He is not pure of heart. He has rage. He has a lot of sins, actually. A Merlin's last descendant here on earth, and as such, you are our last hope. Merlin's last descendant. She's the last one. Wait, wait, wait. So Sam Witwicky is the descendant of Merlin. Where is Sam right now? Is he dead? Sam is just like in a fucking hole some somewhere. He doesn't matter anymore. What is going on up there? You checking behind pictures? Just rip it, rip it apart. <laughs> what is wrong with this guy? <laughs> I thought he was pure of heart, patient, noble. <laughs> he just finds a roof, starts smashing shit. Enough, enough. Just tell me now. Shh. Shut Shh. up. Shh. Yourselves. Shh. 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 <laughs> He's having fun. I appreciate that. Like all the actors are just told, you know what? Everybody in this series is a funny guy. So just do whatever you want. <laughs> as Unicron, one day his horns will rise to fight the mad goddess Quintessa. <laughs> she will end on. What? I don't, I don't know. What? I don't know. I don't know. Why? I don't know. I don't know why you did that. Ah! Move, bitch. Get out of my way. Move, bitch. Get out of my way. Oh, Lord. I understand the plot is we need to find Merlin's staff. Yeah, I just don't know why there had to be so many different little moving parts to do that. And this museum is closed for eternity. All you boys and girls, off the sub now, off the sub now! <laughs> He's having a blast! I do like this character. Hopkins is still doing the goofy, wacky Michael Bay character, but the fact that it's him makes it funnier. What? Oh. He's gonna make food? He beat the fucking shit out of those fish! Why? Why? Oh. Is it sushi or is he cooking it? You shouldn't, you shouldn't cook down here with, like, your limited oxygen. <laughs> Boom! <laughs> <laughs> the candles shouldn't even be going. No, absolutely not. <laughs> with Wiccans? With Wiccans, yes. But, um, they all died out. Not all of them. Not yet. They all died out. Does that imply that Sam is dead? <laughs> What is of the blue glowy water? This is just undiscovered. Great. Every inch of the earth that we've seen in this universe has had a dead transformer in it. Why are you here? I don't understand what purpose you're serving. They want the transformers off the planet. They made a deal with Megatron. Megatron wants the staff and he claims he'll go home if he gets the staff. The military is stupid enough to fucking believe Megatron, the man who did blow up Chicago twice. They're accepting him, they're, they're taking him at his word. They're gonna help him attack Cade Yeager, possibly kill him so that they can leave the planet because the military wants the robots gone. Cade Yeager knows that it is his destiny as the last knight to acquire Merlin's staff and save the world. That's the lore. Okay. <laughs> Why, wait, what is that? Ooh, hold on. Okay, the now the whole sentient planet would, then. This would fuck up our planet completely. Oh, for sure. <laughs> you can't just rake the surface of the moon. If, as if we didn't have enough going on. Uh, now we have more plot. Uh, the moon is going to crash into the earth. And, and all of our heroes, again, are in the ocean. Yep. It looks like they're in Skull Island. 
Like the pressure. In the alone. hollow earth. Yeah, they hit you. <laughs> fire. Yeah, why is there so much fucking <laughs> fire for some fire. reason? The last place I'd expect to see ram- random little fires is underwater in a place that no one's been in for years. What's really shocking is we're about two hours in. Very, very little Optimus Prime in the final Transformers movie. What if uh, Uncharted and Tomb Raider work together is- to save the human race? From Megatron. It basically is that. <laughs> it basically is Nathan Drake and Laura Croft in an ancient Cybertronian ruin finding the corpse of Merlin, <laughs> played you know. by Stanley Tucci. Guys, the meters are freaking. I got thermals everywhere. It's like somebody's setting a lot of fires. <laughs> no, Merlin! What purpose are you serving? I'm here to protect this. I'm here to protect things after they're taken. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, it's because she's 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 a Wiccan. It is found. (laughs) (laughs) Sam Witwicky's cousin's daughter's roommate. It is written that the newest actress slash love interest (laughs) will have the power to shape the world. Except when the next movie comes out, everything will be worse again. Oh, shit. Oh, no. Nemesis Prime. No! This isn't you, Prime. Give me the staff, human. I will kill you. He said his catchphrase, I'll kill you. (laughs) And I love that that's supposed to be evil Optimus says that. Yeah. He has said that in every movie. (laughs) All right. Into my shirt pocket. (laughs) His his little pocket. What part of the truck is that? (laughs) It's his cup holder. (laughs) Whoa, we're fighting? What is happening? Bumblebee's fighting off Nemesis. This should have been a more epic moment. This should be given more weight. Uh, Can we see the robots fighting? Thank you. I appreciate it. I'm glad the movie Can you say that more often? Because I think it listens to you. This doesn't even look good. Look no, at oh my god! It looks bad. It looks bad. Uh, I am Bumblebee, your oldest friend. He can fucking talk. Bumblebee, your voice. <laughs> Bumblebee. I have not heard it since Cybertron fell. Not true. Uh, literally not true. Bumblebee, I have not heard your voice since the first movie. Now you will watch Earth die. <laughs> War- what Look at the, the Warhammer fu- shit what going on here. What do you do? Oh my god. Why fuck me? You chose the wrong side. The Guardian Knights are going to kill me. <laughs> 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 this is the funniest <laughs> line he's ever said. I'm gonna attack you with my sword. No. Just like King Arthur would have wanted. He has fucking Excalibur. <laughs> Give Mark Wahlberg Excalibur. <laughs> this movie's hilarious. They just don't make him like this anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I love this. What do you think those guys were talking about? I love Holy this shit, movie. you see that down there? I love this fucking movie. The world is dead, by oh, the way. Like Jesus. Yeah, too little too late. The world is dead. Yeah, it's already colliding. Is that the moon? No, okay, that's us. The, the, the planet's destroyed. I love He's it. here. He's like, oh, that's a son He walked all the way here. Damn, that looks fucked up. Lennox, trust me. That's all right, right there. Right there. <laughs> Jeez, Lois. I'm telling you, Ted. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Then we get a shot of Anthony Hopkins looking at a fucking a post, like, apocalyptic robot. All right, Anthony, look up and act like there are a bunch of birds going crazy. What's he going to do? He but they can't, they can't sense him? He doesn't know what's going on. <laughs> What the fuck? <laughs> no, Anthony Hopkins is down there. Look, I caught in the crossfire. You wretched 
human. No. <laughs> no! <laughs> he didn't even know what happened. He wasn't even looking. He was, he was lost. He got fucking obliterated. Nobody, nobody even knows he was there. Why does I go They're bang? not even gonna know to look for him. Why does he love killing people like this? <laughs> that was the funniest. That was up there with TJ Miller. And how funny that death was. I had it, Cogman. I had my moment. You didn't do anything. You kind of got shot in the street like a dog. <laughs> Megatron <laughs> fucked you up, dude. Strangely unceremonious death for this guy. It really felt like Michael Bay was like, I can't afford to keep him on set anymore. It's gonna crush us. Get that ship clear of the crush zone now! Crush zone. <laughs> yeah, the crush zone. That's up there on the, the eight-year-old script. That really doesn't look good. No. It looks like Michael Bay is fucking up my, my Windows screensaver. <laughs> oh my god. Now this, this is cool looking. This is this fucked. Is some... This is so fucked. They are literally just gonna rake the planet. What do you expect to do? You guys still just have normal guns. Have your guns ever killed a Transformer? Ever? Been down with a hound. Imagine that just blowing your ears out. Oh my god. Yeah, the last thing you hear is get down with the hound. <laughs> <laughs> You're deaf for the rest of your life. Infernicus. Transform! Infernicus. <laughs> These are getting stupider. It's been a joke since the first movie, like the dumb Transformers names. Yeah. And I love that it's never, it's never changed. Did you forget? Who I am. Uh, you forgot who <laughs> He's you doing are. the fucking anime pose with the sword. Squat. I wanted wow. to see a cooler fight. They made that fight. easy, huh? Yeah, I wanted to see a cooler fight than that, but that's okay, I'll take it. I am Optimus Prime. And I'm coming. What the hell? What are you doing? Are they gonna Wait. kiss in front of the explosion? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, Oh my god. <laughs> Optimus, what? Has, Optimus has this weird tactic in these movies where if he has to save someone, he tackles the debris and it explodes into a million pieces. Whatever the problem is, he forces his body into it. <laughs> yes. You were brothers once. Once. I am Optimus Prime. <laughs> and I'm coming. Oh my god. That was okay. Yeah, you gotta find that's a cool. different way to I kill like him that. every time. Yeah, that's yeah. cool. Show my hands! Yes! <laughs> This Whoa! Is, this is so dumb. This so is, long, Gabe Bowser! <laughs> this is so stupid. <laughs> that was it? Sting like a bee. Uh, zoom in on my arm for that shot. Because I got goosebumps <laughs> from how cringy it was. <laughs> I think I prefer when Bumblebee doesn't talk. Hey, a truck. This is so dumb. I sure miss seeing the truck. <laughs> Just run, you're faster than the Apparently, truck. Apparently, yeah. There's a planet being dropped on Earth right now. Doesn't matter if it's not gonna blow us up anymore, it probably still would. It's still up there. But now, our worlds are joined as one. I don't think that's a good thing. So now you can't kick us out. This is a really weird ending. Yeah. Cybertron is now attached to Earth. So you don't have a choice, we live here now. There is more to this planet than meets the eye. Oh, he <laughs> said the thing! I am Optimus Prime. And I'm going. So, there's just an umbilicus? Yes. That's the, fine. I... I'm sure that won't matter. <laughs> that won't lead to any conflict. Well, that was... Fascinating. It was exhausting. While this journey is over, and Michael Bay is gone, we still have more Transformers movies, so our work will never end. <laughs>